This journal is called We Are Creators. How do we create? And it was recorded uh, 4 17 2010. It was the first journal of that day. Uh, and the Mayan calendar day was 13 alligator. Things continually change. That is my reality now. It's strange, too, how I've grown adapted to it, to the constancy of the changing. Quite odd. There is no set pattern to the change. Some days will go along seemingly much the same, but then they're not, really, and something will come along to highlight that, to illustrate it. There seem to be periods, too, when the change is not so fast or not so noticeable, perhaps. Thus, there is really nothing stable or steady about it, just change, just never really knowing the self. It is quite lovely, though, for the self is truly love. The love of source. Not love for source, love of source. Every breeze caresses. Every tree and blade of grass delights the eye, the foot, the senses. Imagine the fragrance of the rose, the lilac. What bliss of love this is. We are quite bathed in it at all times. The song I've been singing lately is one of the finding of love in pain, in difficulties, in sad seeming situations. People don't tend to want to read or listen to journals with the word pain or anger in the title or similar words. We quite naturally want to turn away. I have too. But that's too bad. Surely some of us are ready with me to take the next step upwards, to have the blinders taken off that cause us to misperceive love as only honey and lollipops, only pleasant sweetness and light. While this is understandable, it is also immature, for love is so much more than that. Ask any mother or father who disciplines their child, and you will see, to not give the discipline, to present the face always of sweetness and light, is no service to the child the child does not grow wisely and well that way. There are many children that run the household. How did we get into this shape where we are constantly running away from anything that is not pleasant? How were we so misled as to believe we could grow and mature this way? What happens to the hothouse tree who has never experienced a wind, much less a storm, when it is placed out in the regular weather? Is it well prepared to withstand the buffeting winds? How is this helpful? I've about decided that nature knows best. I am therefore modeling of what I, much of what I understand as wisdom from nature. A rather interesting phenomena of nature is how there seems to be a fairly equal measure of both darkness and light. Life is that way too. My vision has so changed that I take an entirely altered perspective on things these days. I cannot seem to help seeing the loving hand of Source, of the Father, all around in absolutely everything. When you see like that, you cannot help but be joyful, mostly. When you see the loving, tender hand of the Father in everything little and great, how not to respond in love and joy. Then, too, when something supposedly bad happens to you or to those you love, even here love is seen in action. It could not be otherwise considering the omnipresence of Source, could it? 
no anthropomorphic, punishing, angry, vengeful God for me, thank you. That one's for the rubbish heap of history. In my opinion, utter nonsense. That kind of a God is two things to me. First, uh, first let's drop down in heart. First, it is the projection of people, of their own foibles and untransmuted dark substance, projected outwards upon source, upon the Father. Perhaps many people had a lousy Father image in the home. I don't know. The other thing that it is, is ETs posing as gods. Not too hard to do with their techno prowess their wildly advanced abilities and technology. Well, since when did advanced science confer holiness, I ask you? What's with that? Thank God man is finally awakening, I say. It's about time. We've been lost and buried in such nonsense and for so long now that it could be depressing. That is, if one were still trapped and lost in 3D. Things are changing so fast now, though, that I feel for those whose belief systems won't let them see it. It is imperative that people take a new look at just about everything in their lives. Nothing is the same as it was. I don't care what you think. Things are changing so fast People could easily get lost and be in for quite an unnecessary shock if they don't open their eyes and begin seeing things in new ways. You don't have to see things my way. That's no requirement for anything. Just see things, that's all. Have a look, perhaps, at the Mayan Magic's website and have a listen to some of the free lectures presented there. They are real eye-openers, give you food for pondering. There is no great big disaster on coming, no matter what the Illuminati would like us to believe. They create these false scenarios because they feed off of our fear. It's actual food for many entities. When beings cut themselves off from the light, then they have to mine other sources for their energy other sources as beings who are still connected to light, but are easy to manipulate into spilling that light in dark uses, such as fear. Okay, no doubt this is enough. I don't want to lose too many of you. My message, though, is that things are just not what they seem to be. By expecting things to be a certain way, we help make it so. So, please, let's not expect disasters like that. That just invites them in. We are creators, my friends. It's time to begin a serious study of how we create.